Welcome to Cavaline Productions Plus. I'm Matthew. It's the early summer months here, which means graduations. Our facility is used by multiple high schools and colleges to have their graduation ceremony. Sometimes those educational institutions don't bring their own concert band, which forces us to play the Macho Man Randy Savage's entrance music from In the Can. Now, I typically use QLab whenever I'm playing audio cues, but we want to make this as easy as possible, so ProPresenter, which we use during graduations to display graduates' photos or uh, awards, etc., uh, allows us to use audio. So let's get into here, and let me show you how to fade audio using ProPresenter. So let me give you a scenario. All the graduates are filing in, pomp and circumstance is playing, uh, the last graduate is about to take their seats, and we want to fade out that music. Sure, I can use the mixing console and fade out the track, but I still got audio going to the monitors. Well, I could fade out audio on the track, plus fade out that uh, monitor mix, or maybe combine them and have them go to a bus or a DCA and fade out audio that way, but I'm an audio professional. What if this is a volunteer job? We want to make this as simple as possible for our volunteers. So that's why we're going to be using ProPresenter here to show you how to fade audio from the source. That way all audio going or being bussed to the mains, to your mixers, to your stream, will fade out at the same time. So here we are in our machine. Okay, I got a few slides going. I've got some audio here. I already got it queued up. I got our... Uh, music ready to go. So I'm going to press play on that. Double clicking. Music's playing. Awesome. Now I can go up here and just clear the audio because I don't want to clear the slide. I just want to clear the audio. Clear. Notice that the music doesn't fade. It cuts. We want it to fade. We actually want it to transition. Uh, so if you look down here, we have this transition icon with some time code or transition duration. Now I like my audio transitions, which means going from one scene to the next, or one, not really one song to the next, one scene. Maybe, maybe if, uh, if you think theatrically, uh, a scene change. We're in blues, the next scene is starting up, we're going to fade out that music, our lights are going to change. And then the person or actor is going to be speaking just under the bed of that audio. Now, I like to use a seven-second audio fade with a five-second lighting fade. So I'm just going to slide this up to seven seconds. And it'll go, I believe, uh, up to ten. Yeah, ten. I think I can even... Uh, no, I can't do it with my, my, my scroll. I could probably even go seven. Yeah, that's way easier. Okay, so I have a seven second transition. Great. So once again, double click. Music's playing, beautiful. And I go to clear up here, clear audio. Music's still playing. You know how nice that fade is? You know, a pastor or anyone can start talking and it's not really going to be be audible. It'll just be there as a nice little bed. Kind of like what I do in my videos here. There's an audio bed going on when I'm talking. Not right now, of course, because I'm dealing with audio. But remember, this is for volunteers. Let's make it even simpler. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this slide here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy and paste or control V, whatever you want to do is easier. Then I want to take my song that I want to use. Uh, let's just keep using this one. And I'm going to drag it on top of the slide. All right. Notice uh, we have the note here. This is also why I didn't copy and paste once the audio cue was on there. So after that, we're going to go to the second slide. I'm going to right click and I'm going to add action, clear, clear audio. All right. Then I'm going to right click again. I'm going to label, edit, 
and I'm gonna call this Fade or Ace, yeah, if you can spell it, F Fade Audio, and I'll probably give it a color red. Okay, boom, Fade Audio. I know that this is gonna go. So go ahead. I can even I can click here, or I can click here. It's it's your choice. This is just we just want to make it easier for uh, for our volunteers. There's audio. And click. A nice, even fade. And that's it. Uh, if you wanted to, you could always just play from the audio bin. And then fade the audio that way as well. This will fade whatever audio is playing, as long as this is set to transition. All right, and that's how we fade audio using Pro Presenter 7. Once again, thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw today, please like and subscribe. It truly does help me, my family, and this channel out. And as always, keep rocking.